So currently we're on the free charge at the moment. We were at 5% and we're just uh, getting up to temperature. It's, the pack is still pretty cold at about 17 degrees C. We're pulling 74 kilowatts at the moment. So this side on the T-Charger in Glasgow on the M74, it's six stalls all together. So we have six of them. Uh, I know it's the middle of the night and over to the left is the Starbucks. So you can grab a coffee just across over there, which is quite handy. And these chargers are pretty smart. I mean, there's room for more stalls really. I mean, you could probably fit a few more around this curve here. Before we set off, if you'd like to help grow this channel and fill it with more contents like this, please hit the like and subscribe button and smack that notification bell. So coming down here, I was just doing the national speed limit and then what happened was the, I decided to go past here because my state of charge was still quite high and I wanted to get the state of charge lower. So what I did was I passed the junction on the M74 for the Ionity here and decided to, oh, look at that, here we go. 189. Take a screenshot of that. So we're getting 189 kilowatts, 190. Oh my goodness, I think we have done it. I think we've cracked it. So what I did was on the last part when the charging was low, I basically put it in sports mode and I was just coming on and off junctions just so I can accelerate and decelerate. And just going that little bit quicker, I think helped the battery pack to warm up because it was still staying around um, 15 degrees. And with me accelerating on sports mode, I managed to get the car to warm up a little bit. So with a car scanner, I've decided to change it around a little bit and have the state of charge display on the top with the battery power. And then we've got the voltage and battery current. So I thought maybe you guys might want to have a look at that. And then next down, we have like the battery minimum and maximum temperature and the heater as well. And then below that, it's just the modules one and two only. Uh, I thought it'd be better off to show the average battery module temperatures, which is 29.5 degrees at the moment, which is nice and toasty. I'm hoping that the charge speed will kick in again. I mean, it was 180 before, and that was, that was awesome, at 190 kilowatts, and that was pretty rapid. And then I thought I'll do the outdoor-indoor temperature underneath. So we're sitting at 60% at the moment, and we're pulling 123 kilowatts. I don't think it's going to get any quicker. It's starting to slow down now. The battery temperature is... 33 to 39 degrees centigrade. Oh, so it's speeding up now. We're at 69% and it's jumping up to 146 kilowatts. I do not know what is happening. <laughs> so that's at 35 degrees. So maybe 35 degrees plus is the optimal temperature for the pack. So we're actually nearing the taper, I think, of the charging speed. What is going on? It's going even faster now. We're at 75% and it's going about 150 kilowatts there. Okay, so I think that is it. So this last two minutes is, will be the end of this fast charging cycle. So the battery pack is 35 to 45 C, minimum and maximum temperature and average modules are 40.5 degrees centigrade. I mean, we're still pulling 118, 117 kilowatts. And that is still pretty impressive if you ask me. Can you guys hear that hissing sound? I'm gonna turn the climate off. Yeah, so there's some sort of hissing sound on the left side of the vehicle. 
towards the front. So that must be the cooling. So we're at 80% and we're down to 105 kilowatts. I'm going to jump out just to have a quick look. So we've been here for 30 minutes and we've basically pulled five to 81%. So that's 76% charge in 30 minutes and we've cleared 60.6 .6 kilowatt hours and we're still cooling 96 kilowatts. And currently Glasgow's locked down, well, not locked down, we've got the COP26 summit. Lots of world leaders around to talk about reducing global carbon emissions. And I hope they're gonna be doing a good job. So currently these charges are free to use for this weekend just because of the COP26 summit. So Ionity has nicely donated, I suppose, free electricity to anyone that's here. So they basically can come here to charge. I mean, this is, uh, this is midnight now, so there's no one around. So it's just me at the moment. And you can hear the fans kicking in. You won't be able to see it, but the, the vents are opened as well. Quite a nice site, actually. I think if they, if they've, they've definitely got more stuff building across the way. So I reckon there might be more eateries getting opened up. Let's have a quick look. See where we're at. We're at. Wow. Okay. So with us just messing around, chatting, we're at ninety percent. Thirty-five minutes. 66.6 .6 kilowatt hours of juice in the car and we're down to 49 kilowatts and that sort of speed is what we get normally on a 50 kilowatt charger so we'll see how long that lasts for i'll stay here for a little bit not because the electricity is free but for science i mean the temperature is 30 to 45 c and it's kind of holding that I don't think I've seen it go above 45 degrees centigrade yet. I seem hard pushed to get it above 45C. So I'll roll back earlier. I mean, it's been at 45 for a while. And okay, so the battery temperature is starting to drop now. And all the fans are off now. They all seem to have died down. I think the charging speeds dropped to 36 kilowatts. And even the temperature is already dropping between 29 and 44 degrees C. And the average temperature is 38.75 degrees centigrade. Okay, so I'm gonna head off now. We're at 98% while I'm messing around. I'm just gonna reset back up. We're down to 19 kilowatts on charge speed. We pulled 72.9 kilowatt hours and it took 47 minutes to get to 98%. So obviously the last 8% probably isn't something that I actually needed to do, but it was interesting to see anyway. And I think it's slow enough now that I think I'll be heading off, even though it says four more minutes. I'm just gonna set my camera up and then I'm gonna cancel this charging session. Hyundai claims the charging from 10 to 80% of the Ionic 5 at a 350 kilowatt 800 volt charger is about 18 minutes in an ideal situation. But what's it like in colder weathers at 8 degrees, which is 46 degrees Fahrenheit? From here we can see it starts off slow and then as the battery heats up, it ramps up for a very short period of 190 kilowatts, which is almost four times quicker than my old Nissan Leaf. And it seems to be steady from 120 to 147 kilowatts, right up to 78%. The total time here from 10 to 80% is 25 minutes and 26 seconds, which is seven minutes and 26 seconds longer than advertised, which incidentally is barely enough time to grab a coffee across the road. And this is more than acceptable charging speed at this sort of temperature and within my parameters for sure. Then finally, we're pulling 11 kilowatts at 99%, which is still a fairly decent speed. 
By the time I set up my camera for the drive home, we were at 100%. So we've got a bit of bonus content here for you for 10 to 100% which is 47 minutes and 43 seconds. And this is to recover a full 210 to 230 miles of winter range I've been getting so far in the car.